Hey guys, welcome to the 16th C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, um, we are going to be reading what type of armor you have in Halo 3 from your film file, which is this is going to be your intro to modding programs. And actually, back to the program, um, it's only going to read if you have recon flaming recon or none of those or or if you have a lot of times on time on your hands and your board you can put a whole bunch of if statements in and find out any time kind of armor you have it's up to you but for the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to have it do three all right now let's get started um if if now that I opened this, if you're scared, <laughs> you need to learn how to use Hex Editor. Um, yeah. So, this is a film file, and these are the, the set of values for your, um, uh, armor. This is your helmet, your left shoulder, your right shoulder, and your chest. So, now we need to get it now we need to get C sharp to read these values. And this is for recon. Alright, so now double click on your button. And we are going to need to be using system.io once again. And you're going to want to create a new open file dialog, OFD. Equals new open file dialog. Alright, now we're going to do something new. We're just going to do a binary reader. And a binary reader is what reads hex. So we're just going to make a new binary reader. BR for a binary reader equals new binary reader. And then we're going to do file dot open read. And then the path which is OFD dot file name okay now we are also going to have to have it show the open file dialog before we have the binary reader start alright and now we're going to create a new string which will save the values so we can call it just armor values and set that equal to nothing all right and now we're going to create a for statement since there are four different values ne being needing to be read and now if you don't know already this what i just highlighted is considered a value not that not one I don't even think you can highlight one character. So two hexadecimal characters is one value. Alright, so now we're going to do four. And then we're going to create a new integer i. And we're going to set this equal to the first offset. And if you don't know what an offset is, it is the location of the value. And it, once you highlight the value, it'll tell you the offset right here. Or you can do it says 1B87 and then you just go up to the column up here and it's 6. It's like a graph kind of. So 1B876 is going to be I. And since this is an offset, we're going to have to put 0x, lowercase x, and then 1B876, the offset. And then for each time that i is less than or equal to, or equal to and then the last offset which is 1b879 so we do it 1 or actually yeah 0x 1b879 then i plus plus now we are going to have the location for the binary reader. 
So br dot base stream dot loc or position equals and then the integer i because that is just going to be the offset or if you weren't using a for statement you would just put the offset right here now we're going to have it read the value so we're just going to do a string armor values equals br dot read byte dot to string now inside these this set of parentheses we're going to write x2 and make sure that's in quotes and what that will do is it will set um it will change the hex or will it will keep ha the hex that it reads in hexadecimal form um because normally when c sharp reads hexadecimal it automatically converts it into a decimal value which is what we are used to like one two three four five or whatever so yeah just make sure you have that and now we're going to have it um, close out of the binary reader so that if we were going to create another binary reader or a writer it wouldn't it, we wouldn't get the error saying this is being used by another process so now just to make sure that all of our code is correct we're going to have a message box display um, the string armor values just to make sure that it is working oh, I forgot to show alright so now when we debug we open up our um, film file and it just read the first value and that is because I forgot to have a plus equals right here when this needs to be armor values plus equals sorry about that and it's always good to have um, a message box display your what you're reading just in case you make a mistake like that so now when we debug and we open it up it should read yeah all of them alright okay now we can delete that message box because we know that it reads correctly so now we're just going to have an if statement saying if armor values equals you need to have two equals since it's an if statement if it equals 0, 03030303 0, 0, 3, 0, 3, 0, 3, then label one dot text equals your oops we need these your armor actually wait I want to make sure what does it say yeah your armor armor is recon else if armor values is zero three zero three zero three or wait zero three zero three zero eight then label one dot text equals your armor is flaming recon And then else, you're just going to have him um, label dot text equal your armor is unknown. Okay, and if you're bored, you can add all the armors in there, but I do not have the patience, so. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to have it do this. So now when we open it up, it sh the label should read, your armor is recon. And yes. Now, if we were to change that in hex, so this last value is 0, 08, which would make it be flaming recon if you were to load this up into Halo 3. Let me save it. Now open it back up. flaming recon and if we were to change it to I don't know um, zero zero is 
for the helmet anyways is the default helmet. It's like Mark VI or something like that. Or Mark VI. Whatever. I'm gonna open it up. Your armor is unknown. So there we go. Now we know that it works. So yeah, in the next tutorial, I am going to show you how to write values so that you can make um your first modding program. So yeah, um this was I a really hard tutorial to understand. So if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment and I will help you. So, see you guys.